Hello everyone, uh, this is a video on how to solve and graph one step inequalities. Okay. Now here's the good news, if you know how to solve equations, okay, you already probably know how to solve inequalities because the steps are almost the same. So on your notes, there's, there's three pages. I want you to follow along uh, the first two pages with me and take notes. And then there'll be some problems for you to try. And then at the end, you can see how you did. All right. So let's take a look at this first problem here. We have uh, n plus 3 is greater than 12. All right. Well, the way you solve this inequality is you have to do the opposite of adding 3 to both sides of the inequality, just like you would if you're solving an equation. So the opposite of adding 3 is subtracting 3. So we're going to take away 3 from both sides. So now we're going to get n is going to be greater than 9. And there's our solution. All right, let's go over here. Here we have n minus 3 is, is greater than 12. Well, the opposite of subtracting 3 is adding 3. So we're going to add 3 to both sides. So n is going to be greater than 15. All right. Now, down here we have 3 times n is greater than 12. All right. So the opposite of timesing by 3 is dividing by 3. So when I divide this side by 3, the 3 is going to cancel out and the, n's, the n is left. And when I divide the 12 by 3, I get n is going to be greater than 4. All right. Now later on in this unit study, you're going to learn more about um, a golden rule when it comes to inequalities. So we put a big star over here and we'll come back to this part later on. All right. And then last but not least, we have a number divided by 3 is greater than 12. All right, and the opposite of dividing by 3 is multiplying by 3. So we're going to multiply both sides by 3. And remember, when you multiply by 3, when you have fractions, you can cross-reduce, right? So I can reduce these 3s, and they become 1s. So now we just have n on this side is going to be greater than 12 times 3 is 36. All right, so here's the solutions to the four inequality problems. All right, if you turn the page, this page reviews how to graph inequalities, all right? And if you put a little star next to this table over here, uh, this table shows the meaning, okay, of, of, of the symbols, all right? So for example, if you have a less than sign, okay, the way you graph it, is it's gonna be an, an open circle, okay? Same thing for a greater than sign, it's gonna be an open circle. All right, so down here at the second graph, we have x is greater than three. Okay, so when we graph this, we're gonna use an open circle, and that's all the values to the right of three, okay? So because that's an open circle, that three cannot be a solution. It has to be to the right of three, all right? But when we go up here to this one, this means x is greater than or equal to three. So because it can be equal to three, that's why this is uh, closed, all right? So when it's greater than or less than, it has to be an open circle, all right? And when it's greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to, it's going to be closed, all right? So on the next page, there's a couple problems I want you to try, so why don't you pause the video, and then when you're done, uh, hit play, and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you did it with these practice problems, okay? So the first inequality, we have a number plus 8, all right, is greater than or equal to 18, all right? So we're going to take away 8 from both sides. And that's going to leave us now with x is going to be greater than or equal to the number 10, all right? Now, because the inequality sign is greater than or equal to, all right, we're going to have a nice closed circle. And it's going to be all the values to the right of this. So it's going to be a line going this way. And there it is. All right. So any value of 10 or greater will make this inequality true. Okay. Let me prove it. Let's say if I take the value 12. If I take 12, I plug it in. Right. So 12 plus 8 is 20. And 20 is greater than or equal to 18. All right. Let's go over to this one. Here we have a number divided by 3 is greater than 9. All right. Well, the opposite of dividing by 3 is timesing by 3. All right, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. The 
threes cancel out, and now we get n is greater than 9. All right. So because n has to be greater than 9, 9 can't be a solution. So we're going to make this an open circle. All right. And n is greater than 9. So I'm going to go to the right of 9 like this. And there it is. All right. How'd you do?